Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Brain Honey. Today we're gonna make chicken pot pie. It starts with an all butter pie crust. I have two pie crust recipes. Um, one is on the website with the blackened chicken and broccoli pot pies. And one is in my first ebook as seen on IG with the strawberry and cream hand pies. Make sure you do this at least a couple of hours before you're ready to roll it out so it has time to really become cohesive. Or just go to the store and buy some Pillsbury pie crust. And while the crusts are chilling, go ahead and start on your filling of the pot pie. It's going to be a mirepoix, I think that's how you say it. I could be wrong. It's um, carrots, celery, and onions. I'm also going to add in a bit of garlic as well. And because it's chicken pot pie, chicken. Seasoning it with just some Cajun seasoning, it's what I felt like. You can use poultry seasoning, just salt, it's really up to you. Um, but go ahead and sear it in some olive oil in a preheated pan. You don't really have to cook it all the way through as it's going in the oven later, of course, but I am, I, I just am. Now you're gonna cook your veggies for a decent amount of time, about seven to 10 minutes over medium heat. And in the meantime, go ahead and shred your chicken. I hate shredding meat, so I like to use a hand mixer to do it. You can use forks or your hands if you like. After you notice that your vegetables are tender and the onions are super aromatic, go ahead and add in your garlic and sprinkle in some flour. Now we like our pot pies a little runnier, I guess more like chicken noodle soup than like a, a gravy inside of the pot pie. If you like a thicker, creamier filling, you want to use more flour here. Um, I added in a bit of butter just to help the flour distribute more, and then comes the chicken broth. Also some more Cajun seasoning, and finally I'm going to add in the shredded and cooked chicken. Then finally, we're gonna add in some milk, some frozen corn, and some frozen peas. After we have this all well distributed, we are gonna turn off the heat and just let it cool while we form our pie crusts. I think I finally accepted that I will never make a pretty pie ever again. So now I just try to keep the focus on making it delicious and flaky because I don't know how y'all roll out perfect circles. Of just, I mean, I do, but this shit is hard. It's really hard. you're filling the pie fill it all the way up to the top like the rim of the pie pan but don't go higher and make sure that it's spread out in an even layer you don't want the top crust to be like a mound that just means your pie is going to pop open and leak everywhere oh and make sure that you bake it on a baking pan of course just in case anything does bubble up and leak out that way it doesn't get to the bottom of your oven all right, so after you've gotten your pie somewhat presentable, you wanna cut in some vents and brush it with an egg wash over the top. Um, I actually used all the excess pie dough to make some little decorative leaves out of pie crust. Some of them I put on the pie and some of them I just ate them because I really like pie crust. Um, but I baked the pie for about 15 minutes or so with the pie crust on a sheet beside it. Then I took it out and don't ask why I'm holding that bowl. It has nothing to do with what I'm doing, um, but I just arranged them on top of the pie. And, oh, I made some little pot pies too, obviously. Um, but you wanna let it cool for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then go ahead and slice it. And here's your pie. 
this is the nine inch and I'll show you the inside of the one of the little pot pies too. All right, that's it. So find the recipe on deepbrandhoney.com. Thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day with me today. I know this is kind of a longer tutorial, so I appreciate you sticking through it. Um, have a great day as always. Bye.